the Prairie View A&M Naval ROTC program uh, was established in March of 1968. So at that time, uh, during the Vietnam War, um, it was compulsory to be involved in a military program. So Dr. A.I. Thomas, the president of the university, uh, was interested in establishing a Naval ROTC unit to complement the Army ROTC unit that was already on campus. Interestingly, at the same time, the Navy was interested in expanding the diversity of the Navy uh, and Marine Corps, and particularly the Officer Corps. And so it was a natural fit, and Prairie View a and uh, in March of 1968 became the very first Naval ROTC unit established at a historically black college or university here at Prairie View a and Prairie View a and University has always been somewhat of a, uh, at the point on the frontiers of change. Uh, and the Naval ROTC program was again one of those programs that was implemented to keep us out on the point. They knew that the, uh, they being Dr. Avenai Thomas and, and others knew that the Navy was a front runner and it was pretty much an elite uh, operation. And by allowing uh, students from Prairie View to become a part of that would make us world class leaders. And so the program was designed to take country boys like myself and expose them to a different world, a different set of uh, values and rules and regulations, and we adapted. It changed. It was a game changer for us. Uh, me personally, I can honestly say that I wouldn't be here without this program. Uh, I'm from a small country town in Arkansas with about 10,000 people. This gave me an opportunity to get outside of my comfort zone. Being 40 minutes from Houston, I uh, never thought I would see myself here. I always knew that I would be on a college campus somewhere, uh, but I never thought or even dreamed that I would be uh, in the United States military, particularly the Naval Service. Uh, this has given me a platform to be able to reach back and be a provider amongst my family. Um, I also got to travel and see tons of the world, uh, which is something that a lot of people, they, they really enjoy. Uh, my job as a professor of Naval Science is to develop young men and women mentally, morally, and physically uh, as they get ready to commission into the United States Navy and the Navy, uh, and the United States Navy. Here at Prairie View, what makes it special is our midshipmen. And so you think about a unit that now is 50 years old, um, that has produced over 400 young officers in the Navy and Marine Corps, and to date three flag officers, which is a remarkable accomplishment. So Vice Admiral David Brewer III, Rear Admiral Kelvin Dixon, and Rear Admiral O.C. Combs Jr. Tremendous accomplishment to have three flag officers from a unit that early. So what makes this program unique is that we are the first HBCU to establish uh, an ROTC. And with that, I feel that we have a lot of shoes to fill. Um, with those three flag officers, I feel that there could be more. And with our diversity growing, I think that we can accomplish that. It helped to mold officers and, and, and we used to say gentlemen, but gentle women and and, and officers. It, it helped to mold us. Um, it, it gave us, uh, again, skills that we didn't really know about. Um, the product that Prairie View has been able to generate over the past few years since I've graduated and even before then has completely changed the dynamic of what we're producing for the fleet. Um, whenever you go somewhere now, your first ship, like myself, when I reported on board the USS Vandegrift, uh, my weapons officer was a Prairie View graduate. So it's pretty nice to know that they're turning out products that are actually staying in uh, to pursue their military career. And um, I've met so many amazing people that want the same goal as me. And with that, I feel it just makes me want to be better as a person and hopefully bring that out of the Navy later in the future. And I can't say what the next 50 years will hold when you think about modern warfare or what will be needed from a military service. But I do know that if we remain committed to ensuring that our midshipmen are able to think critically, to function as a team, to build individual resilience, uh, to take the enormous amount of data that's available to them today and be able to sort through to get to what matters, to be able to problem solve in a complex and ambiguous world, that our Navy and Marine Corps is gonna be in great shape uh, over the next 50 years and beyond.